Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your end of January 2022 general tarot update. It's Raina here. So the two um, major arcana cards I got were the judgment card and the hangman. And that and they kind of go together in a way. I mean, well, <laughs> not that's not really what I meant to say, but um, anyway. The heart of the matter is the Father of Cups. This is the King of Cups. Um this can be your actual father, um, especially if you have a father that you have great affection for, that you have a good relationship with, who really is emotional in a nurturing kind of a way, even as a man. Um, could be a literal water sign, so Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces male, older male, or, or more mature male. This may be somebody that you're currently dealing with or that you would like to be with, this type of person. Um, this can, It can be a counselor. Sometimes the Father of Cups can be a counselor that you're seeing about maybe a, a situation, <laughs> this kind of situation. This is in the past position. The Ten of... <laughs> I like the one that's right through his eyes. Um, the Ten of Swords. So this is that um, sense of betrayal. So it is feeling let down by someone or some people about something. Um, maybe this is a, a um, what do you call it, an inheritance issue where your father's estate was involved, Sagittarius. And... It's almost like I feel like in that situation that you loved him and maybe they didn't. So usually, or, okay, usually in that kind of situation, I think of someone who is, you're like the children, you're the child The I would say normally it's like the first family and the inheritance was that you know if if your father got married a second time maybe his wife and or the children that he had you feel like you had this connection with him that was more on the emotional level was more pure and that you were betrayed by these people that's just one possibility it could be like um, a situation where you have a good connection with your boss, but it's the other people, it's the coworkers who are the problem. Or maybe you're just going to therapy for uh, <laughs> the whole lot of them, if the boss and uh, everybody else was just screwed. But I think in some cases, yeah, you know, if you have a, a strong emotional connection with your boss, uh, you might have coworkers who sense that and they are jealous and they try to sabotage it somehow. And these kinds of things do happen, of course, and it's not pleasant. It's not very pretty when that happens, but it does happen sometimes. And the bottom line is that your relationship with a boss or anybody on this planet is your own relationship and nobody can really change that. The heart of the matter is the judgment card and certainly, and usually I don't read this in a literal sense. It's more like a, um, I don't know how to, you know, the um, symbolic or the high, you know, the bigger picture. Um, 
the judgment card can to me, but I, I'll just read it as a literal card saying that it will take care of itself. Cause and effect will prevail. And that means that fairness will prevail because whatever uh, was put out, will the person will get back. And um, so the other thing is that, yeah, everybody gets their just desserts. I think that's the best way of putting it. And so, and that's what I always say to people is like, you don't have to worry or seek revenge or be upset if you if there's something going on that you feel is unfair because it'll take care of itself um and we can just do what's what we know is right and let god take it from there <laughs> the universe whatever you want to call it um and that applies to a work situation if you got screwed over screwed over by somebody don't don't even worry about it um what crosses you is the daughter of cups which is the page of cups this can be a card um, of naivete gullibility sometimes and also purity but this is i'm reading it as a challenge card but um so it's more of the challenging um possibilities so not to just believe everything you hear. Don't trust the wrong people because that might have been what led to the Ten of Swords that you were um, trusting people you shouldn't have trusted. As a Sagittarian myself, I know that we tend to be very trusting. Uh, I had somebody once say to me, boy, you are gullible because I just believed what somebody told me. And then I thought, huh, now I'm probably the most um, suspicious person that you'll ever come across. But, um, you know, when I was an adult, when somebody told me that, I was like, oh, wow, okay. And really, it's because if you speak in a straightforward way and you don't have, like, this phony um, demeanor or the way that you operate, then you just assume everybody else is the same way. And unfortunately, they're not. And you have to take uh, people... Um, a little bit more, you have to be a little bit more discerning about people's motives and, you know, what they say, whether they're, what they say matches what they do. What's coming in is the mother of pentacles, which is the queen of pentacles. So we have the father of cups and the queen of pentacles. This is like, these are both feminine energies, the water and the earth. And so um, this can be, you know, the, um, I'm, I'm trying to think like I'm, I'm, you could get money from your mother or stepmother um, in, in uh, the next couple of weeks for whatever reason. And... If that's true, she wants to, she wants to, um, help you. There's like a nurturing quality there. So if there is some kind of problem, like if your father is with a woman that you typically don't get along with, she may relent and she may, you know, her, her instincts may kick in where she's like, oh yeah, you know, this is the right thing to do. If that's what you've been concerned about um unless this is your mother and she's kind of making up for what you didn't get this can be good energy for any kind of domestic situation for doing what you need to do um in the home so it can be you know sagittarians we probably I'm sure a lot of Sagittarians have, I wouldn't say a love-hate relationship with the domestic side of life, but definitely might not feel like, even as if you're a woman, that you're really Susie Homemaker, you know. I love to cook, but I'm just not that kind of home type of person. But this is really taking pride in your 
kind of cultivating those skills and or sustaining them at this time, at the end of uh, January. The outcome is the hangman. This is the card of being in suspension with something. Oh, you know, uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, maybe there's some kind of a home purchase and you're waiting on it. We are still in a Mercury retrograde. And so that might be keeping some, some of you from purchasing a home because of there's some issues with it. If you're waiting for a um, decision, a, a legal decision, you have to let go of the need to have it happen uh, when you want it to happen. This is a card of surrender. And um, it's like you with the Queen of Pentacles, you can do your part, do things that are productive, do things that sustain you but not expect that something is going to happen exactly when you want it to. Okay, that's what I have for you, Sag. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.